Hey, Desperates, it's me, your favorite housewife, Joe. Welcome back to my Desperate Housewives replay of the PC game. In fact, this is part five of this Let's Play series. If you're watching on Twitch, you can type exclamation point vote to, <laughs> to continue voting for me for LGBTQ plus streamer of the year at the gaming awards. There's a link in the description if you're on YouTube. And as a reminder, oh, the cops are watching. Whoa. <laughs> Who's calling me? I'm not picking that up. And as a reminder, I have said that if I win, I will... Oh, there's Eric. I will uh, play Dead by Daylight without my well, hat on. Like, I thought I might find death. you down here. That's death. 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 It's all death. Thank you for that sound clip, Geisha girl. <laughs> All right, I think I'm going to be sarcastic with Eric. If In the last episode, people broke into our house because they, because Frank was rerouting his internet through our house or something. I don't know. I just learned about computers. So Frank was rerouting his internet and they thought it was his house and they stabbed a piece of paper. Yeah, no hat. B uh, bald. Bald head. Oh, Judy, good to see you. Thank you so much. Oh, I'd love to see it. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Well, if it isn't the Sherlock Holmes of you, Eric Larson, right where Frank said you will be too. So I guess Frank told you about his morning meeting with the police earlier. It's not no your little name. I got a little tired of calling you the creepy guy down the street. I'm at your service. Feel free to ask me any questions. He could not sound any less enthusiastic. Also, look at this bean pole. Look at this bean pole jacket he's wearing. What could you tell me about Frank? Should I trust him? First, in my professional opinion, so Frank is an upstanding kind of guy. I wouldn't worry about his integrity, and he is certainly no danger to your family. I'm remembering more and more about the actual situation regarding this whole thing. Um, but I, are we, were he was we in married the wrong to place him? place at the wrong time, but he seems to have covered his bases. And he's in full cooperation with my agency now. Do you know who broke into my house? Megan McMegan. Is that her name? Megan McMeganson. She's on the verge of, of post-verbal. Where she just, you know. I can't really tell you. She doesn't really use words. She just kind of mumbles. Just rest assured that Frank Fox is no danger to you. And that his problems are about to be over as well. I don't remember if he used to be my husband. So Frank is a good guy? Then who is after him? When will they be brought to justice? Y'all don't know this, but Megan McMeganson has a very strong sense of justice. <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't be more forthcoming with you. You'll have to just trust me on this one. She has a very strong sense of justice. No I one will tell her anything. I've been this case for a long time. Your involvement with it is admittedly quite a surprise, but I'm confident that the case will be closed very shortly. And we are wearing, we're wearing our Kill Bill outfit, so you know we're ready for action. We also got on our pink jelly sandals. I guess I'll just have to trust your opinion. I can't be bothered. To try to, <laughs> I can't be bothered to try to figure it out all on my own. But I guess that's what I have to do. Just be careful where and whom you start snooping around. Megan it would said, "It's a lot safer to just stay in your house and report anything out of the ordinary to the local police." She said, "I don't like doing things, but I will if I have to. But watch out." <laughs> Now you tell me to be careful. It's all mixed messages with you government types. Again, I apologize for being vague. But in time, all of this will be over. There are people watching you to keep you and your family safe. Yes, voice actor. Give us nothing. I'm sure we'll speak again soon. Try to relax and have a good day. They should do ASMR. Okay, I will relax. No problem. I'll just go put bars on all my windows and install an alarm system on my house now. Let's try to get Hello. his secrets. Hello. 
Are you busy? I need to talk with you. Oh, he's about to die. Let's blow him off. <laughs> oh, he's about to die. Let's blow him off. Oh, hi, Daniel. What's up? I'd feel a lot more comfortable talking to you in person. Can you come over? Can't you just tell me on the phone? I'm a little busy. Dinner doesn't just make itself, you know. I'm sorry. It's important, and I'd feel much better talking to you in person. Please come over to my house, okay? We just got started, Grace. You're right on time. Hello. What a long face, Eric. This? It's the face of regret. What do you mean? I was going through some of my old boxes today, and I found some things that I packed away a long time ago. What did you find? I once believed that these things would make someone like me. Ew, trying to change yourself. Let me ask you a question. Have you ever done something that you knew was wrong? No. Just because you thought that it would impress somebody else? Everybody has that, right? Well, I did. In my youth. I wanted to impress the prettiest girl in school. She was impressed. But now I'm ashamed. Is he talking about me? Would you like to talk I about it? I feel guilty enough about the whole affair without somebody else knowing about it. Thanks. I might do that. Okay. Hello. We need to. How's life on Wisteria Lane? We what actually need to be here the most? nice to him so we can get our secrets. What do I like about living here the most? Oh, the home values. I know what you mean. You do have a good point. Goodbye. We can't just. Hello. We don't have a, a gossip with what do you him. Like about living here the most. I know what you mean. You do have a good point. Goodbye. Good God, he's boring. Hello. My head is swimming with guilt. Not to mention, remember when I told you about that box of old things I was going through? Yes, well, I remember. Besides the guilt that's dug up, there are other repercussions. I'm sorry to hear and that. I wish Eric. I could tell you more. But I don't want to get you in the middle of an FIB investigation. This is a case for the FIB. <laughs> this is a case for the FIB. When you apply to become an FIB agent, you're put through an extensive interview process. They want to know about anything you've ever done wrong. I lied in one of the interviews. <gasps> Believe me, it wasn't intentional. I'd completely forgotten about the incident. I have to think about this more before I decide what I'm going to do. Thanks. Okay, let's see Hello. if we can... I want to know his secrets. By the I way... I need to talk to you. Is this a good time? Oh, this is perfect. On my uh, checklist right now, it says seduce my husband. I saw that that popped up. Purple Biker, 40 freaking months, by the way. Uh. Thank you so much. It's always great to have you here. Thank you, thank you. I do appreciate it. Mia with the 65 months. We got some long haulers right here. Thank you so much, Mia. I appreciate that. Not happy 65th birthday. <laughs> I do appreciate it. I always have time for you. I need What's your going advice. On? This is the first time anyone's asked Megan for her advice. I need you to keep this between us. Can you do that? No problem. Remember Eric. when I told you that I was going through some old boxes and I don't do you remember when Eric. I also said that I did something I knew was wrong to impress a girl when I was a teenager? Okay, chat. What do you think that Eric did wrong to impress a girl when he was a teenager? Comment below. <laughs> do you think he A shaved his butthole? Do you think B he did a CBD vape? Or C. No, I shot her. And that I didn't tell the Bureau about it when they interviewed me to be an agent? Oh my God. I was a teenager when it happened. I had asked the prettiest girl in school to a dance, and I wanted to impress her. Okay. I thought that if I wore a designer tuxedo, patent leather shoes, wow. and a gold what watch, a that she would somehow like me more. I agree. Thank you for that, Geisha girl. But I didn't have the money to afford those things. Did he steal a tuxedo? Just order it from Wish. So the night before the dance, I took the keys to my grandfather's corner store and 
stole the money I needed from his safe. Oh, you stole the money. I don't believe it. I can just imagine what you think stealing? of me Stealing? My brain can't comprehend stealing. Do you want to know what I think? All right. Go ahead. If you're up front with the FIB, they won't fire you. <laughs> Do they care? I'm going to say keep it buried and blow over. You're right. I can't believe I didn't think of that myself. Generic Maybe voice I just line. needed to hear it from somebody else. Of course I'm right. Thank you. You could have con You have no idea how much it means to me to be called your friend. In a couple of episodes, I'm going to have a man shoot you. <laughs> No problem, Eric. In a couple of episodes, I'm gonna have a man shoot you. It doesn't matter anyway. All right, what do we got here? Talk to Daniel. Eric Larson's story. Search for Eric Larson online. <laughs> Okay, so I was actually looking at a walkthrough of this game to see how much time we had left. And I saw the password to access his FIB page. I don't know if I'm supposed to know it or not, but I'm going to get on the internet and see. Nothing's a waste of time in this game. Everything is very important. <laughs> Oh my god, wait! Wait, cat show? Cat show archive! This is where you're supposed to get it. Look at this, look at this, look at this! So he has a cat named Panther, Eric Larson, who's a semi-long hair. He entered his cat in this... Uh, top winner was Dingbat Cocoonus, Flasselhoff, Mannix, Burmy shave. Okay, so here's the T. His password is Panther. Most TDs. What does that mean? Tall dicks. <laughs> oh, this is football. Uh, touchdowns. <laughs> Did he win something? Eric He had most interceptions in a single game Oh Panthers 1983 Okay if he was 18 in 1983 How old is he? Mama Me hacking into the Federal Investigation Bureau The FIB We're in. <laughs> Hello, friends and family. I've been put on assignment in a small town. Does he have a password protected blog at the FIB? I don't know about this. No, no, he's old. No, he would be older than 40, right? A small town working on an interesting embezzlement case. I'm enjoying myself, even though I have a lot of working hours. The setting is idyllic. The Corsetti case. A lot of money and good lawyers can insulate you from. So that's Vincent. I may have some exciting news soon. I think I've located an old friend. Me. Call me on my private line if you want this scoop. Family news. The parents are still plugging along. My father's fishing. Ha ha. Ha ha. My mother has recently started volunteering at the Wood Driver Library. I'm cautiously optimistic that one day she'll actually learn how to use a computer. Ha ha. Panther and my other cat, Boomer, are also vacationing at my parents while I'm out on assignment. Why did he put vacationing in quotation marks? Ha ha. Apparently, my father thinks that spray cheese in a can is a good snack for a cat. Ha ha. <laughs> ha ha. 
Uh, bear with me. Sincerely, Eric. Well, that's fun. It's fun to be on the internet. Sometimes you learn things. Wow, what a flop. Thanks, Geisha girl. That's true. Consult your therapist! Seduce your husband. Okay, my goals are to talk to Daniel, who's probably already dead at this point. I don't know. I don't, whatever. Um, this skull is optional. With all the recent developments, it might be good to chat with a professional. I don't know. I feel like Megan's done with therapy. <laughs> you know, her therapist doesn't even let me sit down. And I'm wearing jelly heels. Seduce your husband. Maybe it's time you rewarded him for all his hard work. Oh, using sex transactionally. That's a healthy marriage. <laughs> Are straight people okay? Oh, wow. Transactional sex. That's the ticket. Why don't we just go slap him instead? I'm pretty sure I have a visible panty line in this juicy couture outfit, and I'm living for, I'm no, living for it. Like that. Go fuck Ouch. yourself. Are you what okay? I do to deserve I'd appreciate it if you didn't do that again. Go fuck yourself, Eric. <laughs> oh, his name's not Eric. Bronson <laughs> I'm gonna go compose myself. Oh yeah. And it what it's like when people are like, it was a different time. It was like, no. That was, we still all thought it was awful back then. <laughs> Not that. Chop off his ponytail and put googly eyes on it. And put... <laughs> chop off his ponytail, put googly eyes on it. Pretend it's a rat. Put it on my shoulder and cook a meal and, and pretend I'm ratatouille. Is that what we're gonna do? That's my kink. Is that okay? Is that okay? Yeah, yes, Amazon package. Come through. I'm waiting on some stuff from Amazon, too. Do I have any mail? I can't see them. Oh, I think I do. Well, I'll just go. I'll go see if Daniel's dead yet. God. I got a free wall upgrade. My chat probably says I need that. I don't believe that I do. I'm not seducing my husband. We're not doing this. And I, you know what? I'm walking. I have twelve thousand dollars. Why not just leave? Cook. Did I have a? Did it say cooking contest letter? Did I win? <gasps> cooking contest. Did I not win? This letter was sent from the food editor regarding the cooking contest. Contest reward fudge recipe. This is the winning entry from last year. Did I win? Oh, contest reward. First place. Congratulations. I got Freaking suck it. I forgot about the cooking contest. <laughs> when does that man die? Is this his house? Yeah, that's his house. Oh, maybe he's not dead yet. dollars for a veggie platter but i cut them so well but i cut the veggie so well thank you so much for coming over i'm sorry if i sounded like i was begging i just felt like i needed to see you face to face begging did he say begging well here i am what do you want okay 
I'm a little nervous to even ask you, sweetie, but you're the only one I can trust. Spit it out. You're making a mountain out of a molehill. As you know, Frank is in some trouble, and that was Frank back there. I have this there. strange feeling that something bad is going to happen. You think something bad's gonna happen? Well, I don't know. Could it be that someone broke into my house, thinking it's Frank's house, and stabbed a picture of him? I know I tend to be a bit melodramatic, but I think I need to make a plan to defend myself and Frank too. Oh, this is where he asks for a gun. I need a gun. That sounds like a smart idea, Daniel, but I don't understand. Why are you telling me about this? There is one catch. Due to a past incident I'd rather not go into right now, I can't purchase a gun. With how, like, lenient gun laws are... Wow, what a flop. If he can't... If he's not allowed to get a gun, he shouldn't have a gun. <laughs> Maddie, thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. With how lenient gun laws even are, if he's even on that list... <laughs> Wait, what state is this in? Yeah, he could just go to Walmart. I figure you're connected in the neighborhood. You have influence, and you might know of a way to procure a gun for me. Girl, I moved here four days ago. It's been wild. I mean, you're friends with Mike Delfino and Bree Vandekamp, right? You could probably just borrow a gun from one of them. I think you should just ask yourself. I'm just not ready to tell my story to everyone around here. Besides, your recent burglary makes you such oh, a sympathetic person. We're putting it will be a, a spin piece of on cake it. for you. We can ask Bree or Mike. We probably asked Bree in the last time. Should we ask Mike? I think it's just more fun to ask Bree for a gun. Sounds like a good now, plan to me. If they're not home when you get there, feel free to just sneak in and borrow. Not it. this. I'm MG sure they Link. won't miss it for a week or so. Oh, just steal it? Believe it or not, I've had some experience with creative borrowing in the past. Oh, I really can't thank you enough. This will be the single greatest thing anyone has ever done for me. I tried to you get it from Mike; it didn't work. Here. Bree's just got a whole room of shotguns. Yeah, Brie is in the in the show at the end of the sh in the very last episode, we get a look into Brie's future and she becomes a conservative lawmaker in Kentucky. Is that right? I watched the final scene. So, I haven't seen any of Desperate Housewives except for funny moment compilations and I watched the final scene. <laughs> and I know everything I need to know. Seriously, though, I... <laughs> Come and try, try and take him. Mike on his porch. Mike on his porch cleaning his guns, and you, you go to ask... You don't even look at him. You walk past his house, and you, you're not even talking to him or looking at him, and you hear him go, Try and take him from me! <laughs> Try and take them. That's a Trixie Mattel voice. Voice line. Oh, whose house is this? Oh, this is Mike's. We'll go ask Mike for a gun. If I have to steal it, I'll get it from Bree. This is probably exactly what I did last time. <laughs> Not mystery case files. Hey there. Mike, I really need your input on something. Anything I can do to help a neighbor. Would you like to come in? I do want to go in. I mean, Shoot. come. <laughs> What's on your mind? You can co come in. I can. I would like to come in. I guess I'm thinking about the break in. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear about that. How are you holding up? Well, my husband thinks the police have everything under control. What do you mean more? What are you going to do? You seem like the kind of guy who knows how to take care of himself. Be prepared. It's the Boy Scout motto, but I still live by it. 
I knew you would understand. Huh? What can I do? I was hoping I could persuade you into letting me borrow a pistol. Well, well, this is no joke. I guess I can let you borrow my gun. Just be careful. And if you need any help, I can show you how to use it. Let me go get it for you. Wait here. You can't just let people borrow guns, can you? I've never shot a gun. Oh, I can't move. Okay. Here you go. This baby is my favorite. Just keep it as long as you need it. Did he just sink into the floor? I hope it makes you feel more secure. Oh, hey, Mike. What's going on? I want is you to see clog? something. It is a clock. What exactly needs my attention? All right. I'll take a look first thing in the... I see. Just follow me to the... We have to give this runaround every time. We keep the jelly sandals, stay on, hunty. The jelly sandals, stay on, hunty. Once again, you've rocked my world. There's plenty more where that came from. All right, thanks. Do you have any hey, secrets? What's going on? I was running with Bongo this morning and he got away. So it's not really besides when you Oh shit. Story, no, yes. we already the did his and they were like boring. A, it's really no Anyway, that's the Oh my god. You are so boring. <laughs> All right, let's go give a <laughs> No Bongos. Oh, Katia. Katia's obsession. All right, let's go give a gun to Daniel. If you give a mouse a cookie, if you give a gay a gun, if you give a moose a muffin, those are good books. <laughs> I still don't know what that means. It's that line you, from the song. God. Did you bring the gun? God, shut up, Daniel. Keep your fucking voice down. Now that I know how easy it is to get my hands on a gun, I think I might like one too. <laughs> wow. Now that I'm actually holding it, it feels different than I expected. I mean, this thing can kill someone. I hope I don't have to use it. That's the idea, Daniel. Well, I can't thank you enough. Somehow, I knew you could do it. Your secret's safe with me. Thanks again. You are far too worried about this. I know. All right. Bye, Daniel. He's probably going to die. Daniel's in a weird place. Now that you've helped him out with the situation, head home and see if there's anything that needs your attention around the house. I could consult my therapist or have transactional sex with my husband. I think I'll just go stand in the kitchen for five hours. Oh, never mind. My phone's ringing. Honey. Are you all right? I'm fucking fine. What the fuck's wrong with you? There's been an accident. I'm at the office. Please come right away. I need your help. Bronsonson, as long as I'm on the life insurance policy, I don't give a shit. I'm fine. <laughs> I'll explain <laughs> everything. I don't give a shit. No, someone kills Daniel. Me walking, my husband telling me there's an emergency. Me walking as slowly as humanly possible to my Chrysler Pacifica. Walking as slowly as I can through town. Your husband called, says there's been an accident. Uh, am I indoors or outdoors? <laughs> Let's play indoor outdoor. You remember that game? It's my favorite. My therapist isn't even there anymore. Thank God you're here. He's starting to come too. Who? Oh, is that Frank? Why can't I? I don't there we have go. the discs. What? What happened? Where am I? Oh my God! Is that Frank? She's three feet from him, by the way. Is that Frank? Girl, get glasses. <laughs> I don't know. I just stopped by to pick up some paperwork and I found him in the parking lot. Girl, get glasses. Unconscious and obviously badly beaten. I called you as soon as I realized it was Frank. 
Is he okay? Someone did a number on him. He's suffering massive head trauma and numerous contusions. Get it looks him to like a hospital. <laughs> ah, my head. Where am I? Frank is making. Can you tell us what happened? Frank, it's me. You're in my office, and my wife is here too. I found you in my parking Current lot. wife. You were unconscious, so I brought you into my office. Current wife, Bronson son. I, I went to meet with them. They wanted the discs, so we arranged to meet downtown. Oh, Frank, why? You were the one who told me how dangerous they were. I should told the police or the feds, but they were pretty clear what would happen if I talked to anyone. This is a case for the FIB. They said they would kill me. And then Daniel. What are you both talking about? You know Don't who worry, broke into Frank. the house? Y you've been talking to the feds? Don't worry, Frank. They're going to kill Daniel first, not second. Frank has some old business that followed him to Fairview. We'll talk about it later. Oh, no. Daniel, how long have I been here? I overheard them talking about heading to the house to search for the discs. If Daniel is there, uh, oh my god, we need to warn Daniel. I just came from your house. I left Daniel when Bronsonson called. Oh no. <laughs> Daniel won't oh stand no. a chance if those men show up. We need to warn him right away. <sighs> ah. Call the Fox House right now. Warn Daniel to get out of that house. Okay, goodbye. <laughs> Oh, I want to call Vincent, though. Please leave your message after Aww. the tone. All right, we'll call Daniel. Oh, how's Susan doing? Julie, how do I do this voicemail thingy again? Hi, Jesus this Christ, is Susan, Susan Meyer. Not how do I do this voicemail thingy? All right, Daniel. Hello, this is Daniel Fox. He dies either way. Oh, um... You need to get out of the house right away! What's the matter? You sound strange. Is everything all right? Ah, hold on, sweetie. Someone's at the door. No, Daniel. Don't answer the door. Daniel! Not the Fabergé eggs. Daniel! Daniel, are you okay? <laughs> Daniel, was that popcorn? Frank, Daniel's dead. Oh, new goal. Go to Daniel's house. Oh, I can't even browse the web. Hey, hun. How was your poker game? It's not whether you win or lose. It's how you play the game. How much money did you win? All right. Weird time to talk about that. Maybe I'll go to the boutique. <laughs> Let's play indoor, outdoor. Am I indoor? When I'm standing here, am I indoor or am I outdoor? <laughs> Is this indoor or outdoor? New hint added. Go to Daniel's house. <laughs> Look, time stopped. Time stops in this game till I do this objective. So, quite frankly, if time stopped, Daniel ain't gonna be any more or less dead when I get there. I can go shopping. He's not gonna be any more or less dead. Francie B, thank you for the 25 freaking months, by the way. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Always great to see you. Judy, thank you for the bits. She really doesn't need therapy anymore. I think she's fine. I think she's okay. <laughs> just, wandering. <laughs> just wandering around in the street, girl. Daniel? Daniel? Are you out here? <laughs> Napier, thank you for the bits again. Not this. Uh, at least your oven's not on. 
Thank you so much. Maddie Frogcatcher, thank you for the bits. Yes, we got snow. I'm very happy. Thank you, thank you. By the way, as we get closer, you'll see that his dead he should be dead right here. Daniel? 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 Wait, where's his dead body? Daniel? Oh, there it is. He blended in with the roses. Jesus! I'm bleeding. Help me. They shot me. Damn it. They shot me. Daniel, are you okay? <laughs> Daniel? Are you okay? Two men. It happened so fast. I I didn't have time to to react. Oh, oh god. Daniel? I can't my legs. Like, that's death. That's death. 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 <laughs> death. Death. It's all death. Thank you, Geisha Girl. I appreciate it. Good. <laughs> I'm sure you'll be fine, Daniel. It's all right. It doesn't even hurt anymore. It's okay. Just let me go. In order to let him go, I'd have to be holding on. And girl... <laughs> you're not tethered to me, Daniel. Okay, it sounds like you need to let go. It sounds like you need to let it go. Thanks for the reverb fart, Judy. I appreciate it. Don't you go, Daniel Fox. Tell Frank, I'm sorry I wasn't a better brother. Oh, God. If I'm apologizing... I ain't apologizing for nothing on my deathbed. It says... <laughs> I'm gonna be... It was just a prank, Han. Thank you, Koala Panda Cat. I'm gonna be struggling to talk. And I'm gonna say, Come closer. Go closer. And they're going to say, ah, oh, what is it? And I'm going to say, eat shit. And then I'm going to just let go. I'm going to let loose and shit myself on the way out. I never told him how proud I am of him and how much I loved him. Tell him for me, please. It's so cold. <laughs> I'm sorry for dragging you into this, but don't worry about me. I'm so tired. Wow. I'm gonna close my what a eyes. Flop. Tell Frank I love him. Thanks, Notorious BFO. I appreciate it. Take care of my begonias. What the fuck's a begonia? Your begonias are about to be begonias. <laughs> Hunty, those begonias are about to be begonias. Okay, oh, crrr, and, then, and then I close his eyes. I'd say that joke. I go, oh, crrr, and then I close his eyes for him. Like, that's death. That's death. <laughs> death. 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 It's all death. Thanks, Maddie and Hunky Maj Hunka Majoka. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. <sighs> Dad, are you okay? <laughs> Idyllic place like Wisteria Lane, it's easy to take things for granted. The comfort and strength that only a spouse can offer, the support of a family, and the health and safety of one's Bree's children. Bree's happy. Bree's happy that a gay person for died. You Frank know it. Fox, he'll never have the opportunity to tell his little brother how much he loved him, how much he respected him, and how far he will go to avenge his death. They said, now we got to kill a character in this game. How about the gay one? How about the gay one? She was talking over herself. Uki, thank you for that sound bite. I appreciate it.
for some people, tragedy creates a burden too overwhelming to bear. It, you, we see the name and on the tombstone and it just says relief gay. For many <laughs> of us. For others, it does nothing to alleviate their pain and suffering. It just Frank says gay. In Fox's case, it only fuels his rage toward the people who committed this heinous act. And we run the risk of watching one tragedy quickly lead into another. The tracksuit's from Wish, but the jelly sandals are Gucci. May I speak with you for a moment? Oh. Are you the stripper I hired to be here at 10 a.m.? <laughs> sure. Oh, what did I say? Oh, you don't need the missus. Just call me well, Megan. As I'm sure you're well aware, there's an ongoing investigation into Daniel Fox's murder. It's so unfortunate. He's begonias. We haven't had much success getting information on the perps. If you're interested in getting the details, the officer on post at the Fox House should be able to fill you in. Who knows? Maybe you'll be able to help us out. Oh, this is where Edie seduces the cop, I think. Maybe later. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later! Sorry to bother you, but I need to talk to you about something. Really? Daniel became a part of our little group, our clique. This tragedy is affecting all of us. It sounds like it's weighing pretty heavily on you. Bree, you fucking hated him. Shut up. Pianist Leah, thank you for the 16 months, by the way. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh, happy birthday! Glad you got to pop in. Hope you're having a good one. In honor of Daniel, I'm putting together a little get-together around 7 tonight. To be honest, you seem to be taking it better than the rest of us. Girl, I have lived here four days. <laughs> I'd really like you to be there. I'll be there. What do you need me People to do? People just seem to listen to you. I think they find you to be a soothing presence. You can do one of two things. Talk everyone through their feelings of loss. Or pour some stiff drinks so we can forget about it for a few hours. Personally, I think overt emotional displays are crass, but Susan thought it was a good idea. By the way, we all made a pact to wear the dresses that Daniel created for us for the fashion show. I assume you'll join us? Susan's dress better still have a stain on it. Yeah, I'll wear it. It's ugly. I should wear the, I should wear the dress that I got from Edie. We would all appreciate whatever you can do to help. All right, I'll go ahead and change into it. Um, what chapter is this? I heard this chapter's tedious. Or, I mean, I've played it before, clearly. This one, ultimate mega save. I keep naming them this one. <laughs> this one. And then this one again. So I need to know that this is the old, this is episode nine. Okay. I think this is the one with kind of a tedious task. There's something you have to ask Gabby. And then like, she doesn't tell you the whole sto story. So you talk to like five different people. And then eventually you get back to Gabby and then she finally tells you the rest or something. Anyway, fuck Gabby. Yellow does look good on me. Well, yellow definitely looks on me. Weight of depression. <laughs> I'm not laughing at that. I'm laughing at the... Someone had to write this. Head over to his house to check up on him. Make sure he doesn't do anything rash. So this all happens, the consoling all happens at the party. So that's at 7 p.m. Oh, it's paused. All right, bye, Bronson son. There's Slim Fast on the counter. Ow. 
Appy, thank you for the 15 months. Um, Not this. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it. Good day to you, ma'am. Is there something I can do for you? There certainly is. And what's that? You can tell me how to get in touch with I'm Frank. I'm sorry, but at the moment, I'm unable to disclose any information to you regarding Mr. Frank Fox. Oh, that's cute. They drew a picture of him waving. <laughs> oh, that's cute. It's a snow angel. And I certainly can't let you speak with him. I was told to stand here and see to it no one went inside. This is a crime scene, you know. Hey, you. Edie, you seem pretty lively. What's I've been up? running around like a chicken with his head cut off lately. What a wonderfully tasteless thing to say. Why is that? Hmm. Let's just say the whole murder in the neighborhood thing isn't exactly a boon for the real estate business. I've been so busy rustling up prospective clients that I haven't been able to spend time with Carl. Quality time, if you know what I mean. Carl's a good-looking man, I'm Edie. Being clear. So Carl is Susan's ex-husband, is that right? So when I watched the final scene of Desperate Housewives, the TV show, his ghost watched her leave the neighborhood. Anyway... That's it. That's all I had to say about him. Right now, I'm on my way to check out another house going on the market. I'll take care of Carl tonight. There were a lot of ghosts. Not all those people died in the show because there were like 65 ghosts in the neighborhood. And um, I don't... <laughs> no, Mick, you're trying to get your bingo card. The last episode of Desperate Housewives, Susan moves out of the neighborhood, and as she drives out, all the ghosts from the neighborhood watch her leave, ending with the, the person who narrates it. And there were like 65 people. There was a tornado? A plane crash, too, didn't it? And it looks like you're already talking to someone. A handsome someone, if I may say so. Oh, his name is Officer Friendly. Is this strapping young policeman here giving you a hard time? No, ma'am. I'm just following orders. And you're doing an excellent job at that. Tell you what, why don't I fill her in instead? Um, wait. You're looking for Frank, right? Yes, have you seen him lately? I don't know for sure, but I can tell you where I think he is. Prison. Miss? You actually just missed him. That's confidential information, ma'am. I'd appreciate it if you refrain from divulging information regarding Mr. Fox as he relates to this case or his whereabouts to anyone other than an officer such as myself. If something happens publicly, you can talk about it. If you see someone getting taken away in a police car, you can, you can say that you saw that. They put him in a squad car just a little while ago. You can tell people things that you see. She didn't sign a thing. Hey! The Russian room? I don't think he was under arrest. Officer Friendly here didn't even put handcuffs on him. He did let me play. If that was the case, then Officer Kyle could have just asked to borrow mine. They work pretty well on him. Hello! Wait a minute, how do you know Kyle? He took me to the policeman's ball a while back. There's never been any policeman's ball. What are you talking about? And I played with his policeman's balls. <laughs> All I know is it was a party with lots of handsome men in uniform, handcuffs, and some confiscated drugs from the police locker. Policeman's ball, wild party, all the same to me. You must be new on the force, huh? I'm not that new. Don't worry about Frank. I'm sure they just wanted him to look through mugshots or something. He'll be there for a while before they take him to the safe house. You dumbass. Well, there you go. From the lips of cute little officer friendly here. He's at the station if you want to see him. You've been so much help. Maybe Thanks, but don't... Oh, don't worry. My lips... All right. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you, Edie. Edie, thank you. Hugsies. <laughs> hey, I'm hugging my friend. I'm walking here. 
All right, I should make a phone call. Hey, I'm trying to talk on the phone. Hello? Hi, Frank. Hey. First off. Sure, we can talk for a minute or two. I've been doing a lot of talking today. First, an officer talked hey. to me at my house. Then I I'm was talking to my friend. He's at the police station. And then after that, I was questioned again not too long ago once we got to this dump. They keep honking at me. Go around. <laughs> it's a bad accent. Upset? No, not really. I don't want to talk about it. I got to go now. What I meant to say was... I think you have to ask these in order. I'm down at the police station yeah. right now. They're calling it questioning, but they've been grilling me for hours in this godforsaken, freezing cold room. That sounds like heaven. They had me doing all sorts of crazy things here at the precinct. The last thing I want to do is answer more questions. Wonder Girls, thank you for the 20 uh, freaking months, by the way. I appreciate that so much. Uki, thank you for the bits again. I appreciate that. Gigi, thank you for the bits. On that rat. Oh, Titanic. I thought you were talking about Rose I'm from sad. Golden Girls. No, not I'm not ready to. Oh, shit. Uh, finally. They just finished questioning me. Now they're taking me somewhere else for my safety, which sounds like a load of bull, but whatever. Someone just killed your brother, and you don't think you need to be put in a safe house? Work. We're headed to a safe house. I've been told that I'm not supposed to talk about it, but they can all go to hell for all I care. And if that bothers them, tough. On a day like this, I have the right to be a little pissed off. Right now, I just want to get out of this place. These cops are making me nervous. I respect cops and all, but it's starting to make me feel like I've done something wrong. My brother was the goddamn victim here. Judy, thank you for the bits. Again. Shoes. Kick at 2793. Thank you for the bits. Not this. Not your Daniel. Oh my gosh, Brit Steps! Two uh, years. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rainbow pickle juice. Checked and served thank my you, ass. thank you. Always great to see you. Thank you for the bits too. Protect and serve my ass. The loss. Right. I'm holding up all right. Right now, I'm just taking it day to day. There really isn't anything I can do from here. Oh, Frank, you're boring me. <laughs> what do you mean? Frank, you're putting me to sleep. The police don't have any real leads. I think we should take it upon ourselves to figure out what happened. If you think you can, then do it. The more this car honks, the more it's gonna, more time I'm gonna spend standing in front of it. I'd like to help, but it looks like I'll be stuck in some seedy. All right. Frank, right. stay focused. So you're gonna need to do some legwork if you plan on finding anything out. If you have any way of finding out what the cops actually know, that would be a start. Sounds like a plan. Get as much information as people like talking to you, so it shouldn't be hard. And keep me updated. If I'm in the loop, why do people thing, like talking I won't to be her? Going stir crazy in here. <laughs> now there's a second one. Oh my god, this man is in the same car twice. This man is also this man in the passenger seat. That's the real fucking mystery. Okay, I'm moving. Good day to you, ma'am. Is there something I can do for you? You can make a little time for civilians now and then, am I right? Why, certainly. What did you want to talk about? So, how hard is it? I beg your pardon? When you fell from heaven and landed where Daniel died. <laughs> That's... That's the line. That's the pickup line. The job, I mean. What were you thinking? <laughs> I think I was thinking what you were thinking. 
It must be difficult having something like that happen in your own neighborhood, huh? You seem like a nice enough person. What does that even mean? Like a nice enough person? I can tell you a little bit about the case. Oh, would you? On the night in question, there were two suspicious persons milling about the neighborhood. There were also two sets of unidentified prints discovered at the Fox House. Coincidentally, there are two convicted felons living on Wisteria Lane right now that I suspect we'll be investigating pretty soon. Michael Solis and Carlos Delfino. Carlos and Michael? Also, Daniel was slain at 11 p.m. on the night in question. So if you ask me, this is what I think happened. Oh, we get a recreation. Crime scene recreation. <laughs> Both of them team up to kill the gay. <laughs> This is awful! He didn't even die there. But I told you that in confidence. I plan on bringing that up with the chief once I collect more evidence. Oh, I did sleep with them both. Believe me when I say I can keep a Yeah, just keep that between us. Thanks to get for the info. Um, okay. Well, I'll be... Can we Hello seduce him any Mrs. further? Ma oh, God. I'm sorry, no. but I'm on official police. It's all. You God. have. God. God. Shut up. <laughs> okay, so it's not Mike. I think we talked to Mike first, and then Gabby. Sends us kind of on a wild goose chase. Oh, we have an optional goal to go sleep with Carl. I'm going to go. I'm going to try to fit all this in. I have to do all this before 7 p.m. But I didn't. I skipped this one last time I played the game. So I'm going to go try to sleep with Carl. No, he was slaying. Busy day for Megan. A lot of tedious tasks today. Can you let me the fuck in? Hello, Hello. Carl. To what do I owe the pleasure? Oh, Carl, you don't owe me any pleasure. Not yet, at I, least. I don't think I quite follow you. You want to run that by me again? You can't tell me you don't get lonely here. So, what if I do? What do you want to do about that? Oh, Polygon! Thank you for the raid. Oh, give a shout out to Polygon. I appreciate that so much. We love Polygon here. We're Polygon stands here. Thank you so much. Welcome, raiders. We're just in our second Let's Play. <laughs> We're just currently doing our second Let's Play of Desperate Housewives, the PC game. And we made some pretty awful decisions thus far. And we're making even worse ones this time around. We love Polly. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. We're just seducing. We were just in the middle of seducing. You guys oh! will have to do what? We were just in the process of seducing Susan's ex-husband, who's now with Edie. <laughs> and we just got caught! I don't remember this from the first one. Oh, thank you, Polly. I appreciate that. I need to make some more. It's been a hoot replaying this game. Yeah, hi. Were you hitting on my boyfriend? Should we confess? I'm kind of remembering us doing this last time. Excuse me? Don't mind her. She's just pulling your leg. Aren't you, Edie? Of course I'm joking. Wait, was Edie's... So Edie died in the show, right? Her ghost wasn't in the last episode, though, was it? She doesn't it's get a ghost. almost funny. The two of you should know better than to try to hook up behind my back. Not without asking me first, at least. Well, if all I need to do is ask... I thought I'd knock off early and come home for a pick-me-up. 
now that we've dispensed with the pleasantries, I really need to talk to Carl for a moment. Talk to him. He's right here. You can wait here if you want to. But we're going to be about an hour or so. We are? Yes, we are. Give or take about a half hour. Depending on whether you want side dishes or just the main course. What's the side dish? The colostomy bag hole. <laughs> I'll take the works. Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thanks. I'll see you out. Don't you have somewhere else you need to be? Yes, I do. My bedroom in about 10 minutes. Bye-bye. Can we not distract her? Hold on, slap her. Okay, then. Time to slap my other cheeks. <laughs> no! Not slap my other cheeks! Can I not do it now? Three's a crowd. There has to be some way to get her out of the house. Maybe if she got an urgent call. Okay, it's time to do that. This is Edie Britt, Britt Realty. Can I help you? Oh, she sued him. Oh, I didn't know that. So she definitely was not in the finale. <laughs> is that why they killed her off on the show? Oh, thank you, Cassidy, for the follow. I appreciate that. Welcome, welcome. All right, time to put on our best impression. Oh, and classy but trashy. Thank you for the follow, too. Once again, welcome. And, uh, let me make sure I say it right. Dana Nisi, thank you so much. Uh, Sari, thank you so much as well. Welcome, y'all. I appreciate it. I imagine y'all came from Polly. Thank you, thank you. Oh, we have to make up a name. Bern Bernadette. You can't go wrong with Bernadette. Dunmore. <laughs> oh, we have to have a third name. Um, Xerxes. It's just me. Bernadette? Dunmore Berks Xerxes. I'm very interested in the property at 7520. Uh, easy Street. Well, I, I do cover that area, but it's all the way across town from where I am right now. I won't have an opening until two weeks from today. Can I pencil you in for then? Around noonish? No, no, I'll, I'll meet you there in 30 minutes. Um, splendid. Do wait for me, won't you? Uh, sure I do. See you in a bit. Perfect. Does she? Do I actually see her leaving the house? I think I did do this last time. Is she still in here? Should I wait to knock on her? Oh shit! Don't worry, she's leaving. She's leaving. She leaving? She's going out the back door. Don't worry, we got it. I got it under control. She left out the back door. I did do this last time. I guess I wouldn't have passed up a chance to sleep with Carl. Judy, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Not my name on the tombstone. Not this. Hey, you're back. I know I didn't get rid of her. Did you? Huh. I think I follow. Mama, these jelly sandals stay on. <laughs> the jelly sandals stay on, Carl. That's my only rule. How was that for you, baby? It was okay. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't even wait for me to answer. He didn't even wait for me to answer. Now I understand why Edie's working so hard. She's definitely not missing anything at home. You've got some nerve. Have you thought about actually paying attention? In <laughs> you know, there was a moment where I was going to hold up a mirror to your mouth to make sure you were still breathing. She's a lazy bottom. Keep it up. Oh, wait. That's... Oh, who wrote this game? Oh, right. You can't do that. Going to be home soon. It's probably a good idea that you aren't here when she returns. Don't worry. I don't think I could have stayed here another minute. 
All right, bye, Carl. You know what? I bet he'd take me again if I seduced him twice. Mama, this the power. Let me tell you about the power that we're wielding. Hey, aren't you looking lovely today? Okay, what can I do for you? If you're talking about, it's obvious why you'd come to me. Then why don't we... Round two, Mama. And then I'm going to insult him again. The jelly sandals stay on <laughs> passive aggressive power. <laughs> Meg the bird, thank you for the 22 freaking months, by Thanks the way. The workout. That was great. You I appreciate that so much. Game. Great I to see flexed you. I like that since that cheerleader back in high school. Spare me. It sullies the word. Hey, it couldn't have been that bad. I mean, you were smiling the whole time. That was a grimace, not a smile. <laughs> I've been meaning to let you know that if you and your husband don't work out, you should give me a call. Um, yeah, mate. We'll, we'll Sounds keep him like on the. I gotta keep him on the back burner because I hate my husband too. I'm really happy to keep giving you what you want too. All right, bye, Carl. I'll be in touch. Okay, that worked out okay. Wasted a couple hours there. Now I need to figure out if Mike killed Daniel. Whoa. <laughs> I've got a lot to do before the party tonight. Oh, Mike. I know Mike didn't do it. He gave me his gun. Eddie Greeley, thank you for the 27 freaking months. I appreciate that too. Thank you, thank you. It's great to have you here. Hey there. What's going on? Just wanted to ask you a question. So you're too. a woman on a mission, huh? I like that. Well, I'm not in much of a talking mood right now. I figured you had something quick you wanted to bring up. Ah, so you know where I'm coming from. Good. We gotta be nice to I can't to tell him. you how many times that jerks told me he was going to do something and then completely flaked on me. Daniel? Exactly. Like just the other day, Mr. Famous Fashion Does he not know Daniel's dead? And look at a leaky faucet at his place. I had some things planned that day, but I decided to be a good neighbor and make time for him. Granted, it wasn't until later in the day that I came by, but still, I was doing him a favor. It's only common courtesy that he's around when I stop by. He's got finger toe shoes on? What the fuck are finger toe shoes? Are you talking about when I called ahead those to check separate and see if he'd toe let me shoes? In, he's not home. Then Susan called me up and invited me over for an early supper. Since I figured Daniel would call supper. any minute and rescue me from Susan's chattering, I agreed to have dinner with Julie and Susan. Dinner became dessert, became coffee. No call from Daniel. By the time I was able to escape, it was pretty late. I figured Daniel would call to apologize the next day. We spoke in the morning, but I didn't get a hold of him for the rest of the day. Well, we'll tell him during Climax. <laughs> we'll break the news to him during Climax. But nothing since. Not on my cell phone, and nothing since I'm back in town. It's like he just dropped off the face of the earth. Which is a bit of a... But I know he's gonna call. He always does. Probably just when I'm about to fall asleep tonight. Let's, um... Oh, Mia's Lotus, thank you for the follow, too. Great to have you here. Let's not tell him. Let's be passive-aggressive. Mike, I think that in Daniel's current state, it's unlikely you'll be hearing from him for quite some time. Wait, what are you getting at? This was a few nights ago? I thought this was yesterday. Just tell him with a straight face. That's not the kind of thing you joke about. Oh, Megan McMeganson doesn't joke, Mike. <laughs> Megan McMeganson doesn't wow. joke. I don't even know what to say. I already told you everything I know. Anyway, I left. You know how. Sh I know. Yeah. Let's wrap up this convo. I know you didn't do it. You're too dumb. Who else? Verify the alibi. Oh, we need to go ask Susan if that's the truth. I wonder why the police aren't doing all this. We gotta, well, we gotta make sure Carlos didn't do it. Cosmos, thank you for the bits. 
<laughs> Not this. I love the St. Olaf story. Oh, hey. I just watched a if compilation you're for my of mom, them. She's in the kitchen. Thanks, Julie. God, you're annoying. Oh my god, she's been washing her hands for five hours. Susan, are you okay? You know, there's something I've been meaning to ask you. How are you dealing with everything that's been going on? Are you stuck in the sink, Susan? Are you okay? Don't you think that kind of job is best left to the police? Uh-huh. And I suppose you have a plan to get to the bottom of things. All right, we'll ask her Mike, to clear up Mike. You don't really think they believe Mike did it, do you? Right. Actually, there were three of us here. Me, Mike, and Julie. No one's going to believe a teenager. Hey, what's going on, Mom? We were just talking about Daniel Fox. Go back to MySpace, Julie. Adults are talking. <laughs> we give her an iPad and sit her in a corner. The adults are talking, Julie. Oh, man. I still can't believe that happened right down the street. Edie mentioned that the police took him in. Not as a suspect. We give her a zoom. A zoom and a pair of wired head earbuds. <laughs> but that's not the weird part, Julie. Mike is considered a suspect. Mike, Mike? But he was here that night. I remember because you did everything in your power to stop the poor guy from going home. Julie, you're being silly. It's just that it was late, and I was worried about him walking home alone at that hour. Mom, he lives across the street. The poor man drank four nightcaps trying to be polite. Then as soon as you saw him walk into his house, you called him on the phone. As it turns out, this is a dangerous neighborhood. I wanted to make sure that he got home safely. Is that why you talked to him for almost an hour on the phone? Oh my god. What? How could you talk to someone... If I see you in person, I'm not talking to you again for a month. I'm not calling you immediately when you leave. Oh, give me a break, Julie. Who's been on the phone every night this week gossiping about people at school? Is it my fault that Danielle Vandekam gives it up to any boy who asks? By now, I'm sure you're not the only one that knows that. I'm sure lots of people... Well, let's move... What? Look, we can't let the police think he had anything. <laughs> I guess you're okay, right. Okay, I'll tell well, the police right. it wasn't Mike. I'll go check on Carlos. I try not to get hit by a Chrysler Pacifica on the way there. I got a lot to do before 7. It's already 2. Yeah, Julie slut-shaming. Was she slut-shaming her mother or one of her friends at school? Is Carlos? Oh, perfect. We can just ask Carlos. Hey. Hi, Carlos. You came by to talk to me? We've slept together Carlos, twice, who is Carlos. It? <laughs> Why don't you come out here and find out for yourself? Why do you always have to have something smart to... When I tell you... So, okay. I'm, I'm telling y'all this. That I didn't watch Desperate Housewives. I've watched the last scene where it shows where they all end up. They end up in California, like in a mansion. And it's like, and they argued happily ever after. That's not happily. That's not a love language. Arguing is not a love language. I did read the Wikipedia for the final episode as well. That's not a love language. That's toxic. Oh, hi. Hi. Double Scorpios. <laughs> no, I don't get funny. I have to be realistic. And then with Lynette, it was like, Lynette had six grandkids and she yelled at them all day long. No, no, we're fine. Why Double don't you come Scorpio. inside for a minute? Oh, I'm stuck. Sorry. Oh, Daniel's yeah, murder did happen. Daniel's Did someone say come inside? Shaken up. <laughs> it's still hard to believe. D Did someone say come inside? It's unfortunate that something like that had to happen. No, to I didn't sleep with Carlos. He had his whole life ahead of him. No. Wait a second. What does Daniel's death? Yeah. What can we tell you that we didn't tell the police? 
We didn't see anything. They suspect me. I went to jail for embezzlement, for Christ's sakes. I'm not a violent man. They're looking for an easy target. Yeah? Well, they're wrong. Carlos would never do anything to hurt Daniel. I know for Spine a fact that he broken. couldn't have that night. We were both home and in bed by 11. Actually, I wasn't exactly following my normal routine that night. See, earlier in the day, Carlos tried to drag me into another one of his charity benefits. What? What did he go to jail for in the show? Oh, uh, here we go. I'm not talking to you, sweetie. Stay out of it. Listen, honey. She came over here to talk to me. If me and Justin talk to each other this way, you just don't... Are you serious? Carlos so he probably did you to kill know that he Daniel. A bit because I didn't want to go to his little party. We fought about it for hours. Then we had the makeup sex. Then we fought again. Then more makeup sex. Yeah, we didn't make the charity event, but I definitely gave it my all. As did Gabby. For your information, I had a number of appointments scheduled that day with a number of business professionals. Uh huh. And which professional was it this time? Henri? Pierre? That guy with the mole? It's called a beauty mark, and that doesn't make him any less of a professional. Anyway, I had to keep my appointments and wound Is up Carlos pushing my workout okay? to the end of the day. And he keeps clapping. <laughs> so, I didn't go for my run until much later that night. And Carlos came home right after I did. We were together for the rest of the night. Yeah, we still had some issues to resolve. Carlos, I just remembered something else from that night. It involved whipped cream, strawberries. Actually, when I... It was pretty... Did you tell them? No. That's the... Well, I'm sorry. Why are you apologizing? And another... Holy shit. Oh, wait. Did I just skip a murder scene? Well, that's okay. Here we go. Here's the things we have to... Sorry. It... I was over... I'm over their relationship. I told y'all, I watched the funny compil- They're called, like, funny Desperate Housewives compilations. Oh, I have to go talk to my son. For the first time in, like, a month. <laughs> I haven't talked to my son in a month, and he lives in the same house as me. Is that okay? Is that okay? In the funny compilations on YouTube, Gabby's never in them. Except for one scene where she- Argues with someone about handicap parking. I think that's it. And it's not even a good scene. Hey, Mom. What's up? <laughs> no, it is called boundary. My boundary is that I don't talk to my son. My teenage son who lives with me. <laughs> Have you been touching my Slim Fast? That's a really strange question. Miss Solis says she saw people snooping around our Don't house. remember? I was grounded. I didn't go anywhere that night. He does look like Zuckerberg. Judy, thanks again for the bitch. Not this. Oh, Brandy Key, thank you for the follow. I didn't say thank you to you. Pianist Leah, thank you for the bits. Oh, interesting. You know what's funny? If you Behind and Dad the would just let me stay tea. out later, I'd probably be able to help you out right now. I really don't care, Golf. I told you I was in all night. I was playing Utter Warfare online with this guy I know from the web forums. Double Trouble. I figured since nobody was home, I'd crank the volume up pretty loud. So there's no way I would have heard anything. Are you done with the interrogation now, Mom? You're being awfully defensive here. Jeez, you know what? You're worse than Danielle's mom. Who the fuck is Danielle? Girl. The both of you make a habit of nagging and bugging people. Why can't you just leave me alone? Who the fuck is Danielle? Why are you so hung up on this? I mean, I know he wasn't your boyfriend or anything. He didn't even play for that team, did he? Golf, go to your room. Other than you and his brother, who's really gonna miss him anyway? My homophobic. Now, do you see why I don't talk to my son? My homophobic son. Get <laughs> ready. Now. Look, Mom, 
I'm sorry your friend is dead, but I don't know anything. I promise. So drop it already. Fine. I've had enough abuse anyway. I thought I'd get a sympathetic ear, but obviously that's impossible. <laughs> I don't want to slap my own son. We're not we're not going to slap him, but I I'm not talking to him for the rest of the game if I can help it. Bronsonson, you can choke. I'm leaving. Kids today, your son find the next piece of puzzle. If you still can't figure out, press him for more details. Um, is the next piece going to talk to Danielle? I won't slap my son in this game. I'll just pimp him out to the teacher. <laughs> I won't slap him, but I will make him sleep with his teacher for good grades. Do you understand me? It's called parenting, and it's not easy. <laughs> For the record, I didn't even mean to make that decision. The game made that decision for me. Do you want to even, you don't even understand, don't even talk to me unless you're a parent too. <laughs> You don't know. You think you know. Oh, this house. Danielle is Bree's daughter. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that, exactly. How else are you supposed to parent? There's Hello. no guidebook what for parenting. Surprise. <laughs> there are several. I did I did kill my Tamagotchi at the beginning of this. To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm trying to piece together what happened. I'm afraid you're wasting your time. I don't know anything about Daniel's murder. There's only one thing that comes to mind when I think of that night. But it certainly isn't going to bring Daniel's killers to justice. And you know exactly what I'm talking about. What? I have absolutely no idea what happened to Etta's garden. What? I never said oh. anything about Etta. <laughs> oh, then what? That was the night your son attempted to court my daughter. Not court. That night, he and Danielle were coming back from their date. I caught Danielle trying to sneak back into the house. She knew better than to stay out that late. I assume your son was the bad influence. I saw That's them fine. coming out he of your was. house I looking hate him too. guilty as sin. And then your son had the nerve to try to sneak in with Danielle. Mom, haven't you done enough? Now you're talking to the neighbors about this? Haven't you embarrassed me enough already? I'm not trying to embarrass anyone, dear. You do more than enough of that for the both of us. Stop trying to date my son. He's dating his teacher. <laughs> Little Missy, let's get one thing straight. <laughs> I hate this game. It's so problematic. This is so problematic. Needless to say, they were surprised when I greeted them on the porch. Speaking of court, that's where the teacher needs to be. Speaking of I court. I sent your son home immediately. Then Danielle and I had an interesting talk that evening. Do you know what this means? Yeah, it means I don't we know what anything means. I used to think my Danielle was incapable of hurting a fly, but she is susceptible to dangerous boys. They probably did it. They should go to jail. Oh, is this another one? Oh! This part. The developer said, you know what we should do? Let's have those teenagers kill that homosexual. You know what we should do? Let's have those teenagers kill that homo. Do you seriously think I'm capable of that? The police said Mr. Fox was killed at 11 that night. And if you remember, you sent him home way before that. You went off on your whole high and mighty, and of all things, on a school night tirade and sent me to bed. 
Besides, I refuse to defend myself. You're insane for even thinking this. If only Dad were still alive. Danielle, you will always be my daughter. But after what this family has been through, and especially after what you've put me through, it will take more than a few words for me to trust you again. Bree's really zero to a hundred. Considering you never even told me what you two were up to that night. Ugh. What do you think two teens were up to that well, night? If Danielle doesn't have anything to tell us, there's just one person left. Your son. Maybe you'll... Oh my god, don't make me talk to my son again. <laughs> oh my god, don't make me talk to my son again. Girl... He's been staring at the fridge for two hours. You think he's gonna have something smart to say? Bree doesn't add sugar to her Kool-Aid. It's just red hey, water. Mom. What's up? You have a lot of explaining About to do. What? Don't you play dumb with me, Golf McMegan's. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Or, hell, who knows? Maybe you aren't playing at all. What? Why don't you ever trust me? You're just coming from out of nowhere with all this. And I know you're making this up. You can't prove anything. That Danielle, she's really a fun girl to be with, isn't she, Golf? The kind you can take on walks around the neighborhood. <laughs> He's walking around the neighborhood of crime. Uh, She's really unhinged. She's really girl unhinged. Just can't keep her mouth shut. Okay, okay. Danielle and I went out that night, but nothing really major happened. This conversation about accusing our son of murder is sponsored by Slim Fast. <laughs> roller coaster i'm on a roller coaster slim fast really said uh could you put us in the background in that scene <laughs> so i didn't feel the need to bring it up <laughs> they said you think you think when the mom's asking her son if he murdered the gay person you could put a slim a box of slim fast optima in the background Um, after Mrs. Vandekamp finished her angry diatribe, I left and came home. And that's the truth. That's one way of looking at it. Nope. I did see someone standing outside the Scabo house talking to some car. Well, who was it? I don't know. I guess it could have been Mrs. Scavo. Useless. <laughs> Here we go. It's that same man who tried to run me over when I was on the phone. Shoo shoo. <laughs> that was some Sims, some Sims level. All right, golf. God, I can't wait till I can choose at the end of this game to leave this family. <laughs> Shoo shoo. Is that goodbye in Simlish? So, 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 there you go. Sorry, I don't play The Sims anymore. Spooky is Courtney. Thank you for the bits. I do appreciate it. Diamond Lake, thank you for the bits too. She is top. We're the only one really doing any investigation. Princess Jasmine, thank you for the bits. Hey, oh my you. gosh. We haven't talked in a while. What's new? It's always great to have you here. I hope the new job goes well. <laughs> Considering what happened less than 500. I know God. it sounds awful, it's but it's not all about you. That said, he was my neighbor and I was hoping he'd be my friend. It's an awful tragedy. I still need a few more answers. I think we're a bit old for the whole detective thing, but go ahead. What do you need? 
How old does she think detectives are? <laughs> she said, she said, if you're not 10 years old and you're a detective, you're too old to be a detective. She said, you better be 10 years old or else you're too old to be a detective. I'm not sure I can help you with anything, but... Who knows? Maybe we both can help. What's the problem? People have sort of placed you outside on the night he was murdered. Listen, I don't know what your eyewitness was smoking, but Lynette barely has enough energy to lift herself into bed at night, let alone chat with some stranger. And yet, no one was talking to yeah, him. Um, hey, Whitney, welcome back. Bizarre, anyway, I was asleep by 9 o'clock that night. Who thinks they saw me? It's crazy. You're changing the subject, Lynette. They didn't record this voice line. Is this your game, spreading rumors you know, about my wife? I've heard some things about your son. I was yeah. trying to give him the benefit of the doubt, but he sounds like nothing but trouble. Girl, I'm with you. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> everyone calm down. I was in bed by nine that night, so it obviously wasn't me your son saw. Where was this car? It's Bob across the street, just a few feet yeah, from your house. Yeah, uh, I hope he's not spreading these little assumptions any further than you. You know, to be fair, I do remember something strange from that night. Not me. I was sound asleep. Yeah, my little watchdog here. Wouldn't wake up if I sleep soundly. Anyway, Tom was fast asleep. I don't asleep. have, a, I don't have time for their loving banter. I couldn't get back to sleep. Yeah, she's like that. Her mind's all God. but maybe we should get back to helping out. So what do you remember that night? I was looking for something to read to help me fall asleep. This is the chapter everyone I I says is tedious, window, so but at least we get some looked, really good voice there lines. There wasn't any magazine, but I saw Gabby on the sidewalk. She was running around the neighborhood. Are you telling me that Gabby was running errands at midnight and decided to stop and have a conversation with a stranger? No, Tom, she was literally running. In her very tight pink jogging outfit. You know, the one you're always staring at. Of course. That makes sense now. Gabby was flirting with some guy. It's actually pretty funny that anyone would think you were flirting with someone. <laughs> Tom, what are you implying? You just don't flirt. Well, often. You, you, don't, you don't flirt often. <laughs> Now that I'm a mother, am I supposed to be asexual now? Is it out of the realm of possibility that I might flirt with a man and that a man might find me to be attractive? <laughs> Megan McMegan's sense like. <laughs> okay, I don't mean to be rude, but Tom and I have a few things to discuss. Gabby did tell me she was out that night, although she neglected Somehow, to let me know. Heartbreak feels good in a place like this. Thanks, Hunkamajunka. She neglected to let me know that she talked to Daniel's killers during her jog. Okay, we have to go fucking talk to Gabby. See, I told y'all, this one's. It all leads right. If Gabby had told us this when we first accused her husband of murder. <laughs> Then we wouldn't be in this predicament. So, tell me. Did you find out anything new about Daniel's case? Okay, what's up? You didn't tell me the entire story. Why did we switch places? Are we playing musical chairs? I told you I went out running that night, didn't I? Uki, thank you for that reverb fart. I do appreciate it. All of the housewives have their own um, idol movements. And all of the men in this game go. <laughs> when they're idol. Gabby, what is she talking about? Just what were you up to that night? I don't know. There was some guy. Some guy? He's going to do it. Just watch him. No, wait. Two guys, actually. They were really confused. Of course they had names. 
the one that talked with me in the past. Did he not do it? His name started with an L, but I can't remember what it was. Well, they did freak me out at first, but he was just asking for directions. It was pathetic. The guy tried to flirt with me. I mean, come on. He was driving last year's model. Did he think I'd even give the time of day to a guy in a car like that? Whoa, whoa, back up, Gabby. Who was this guy? Why was he flirting with you? Carlos, it's not technically flirting if it's one-sided. And trust me, this was one-sided. <laughs> I was just being nice. Besides, I don't usually fall for the kind of guys you see on the FIB's most wanted list. Unless you were on it, sweetie. Gosh, thanks. I guess. Details. I need details. Um, what exactly do you want to know? Tell us exactly what happened that night, Gabby. Everything. Then our friend here can find out what she needs to know and do her little detective. Right. Well, I was out running and... <laughs> Not all this. He didn't have a Chrysler Pacifica and she threw a fit. Jasmine, thank you again for the bits. Salsa Senorita, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Napier, thank you for the bits too. I have no idea who that is. Is that someone who writes, who writes te television? And? Finally. And what the fuck was that? That was it. See? You were all getting excited over what turned out to be nothing. These guys got Oh, you're lost. just calling them out. They pulled over and I gave them directions. And then, sorry. No clues or red herrings or anything, Sherlock. Just out of curiosity, where were they going? Oh, they wanted directions to the Fox House. Man, Gabby is so... They what? I'd say that was definitely important information. God. Gabby, how is it that this is the first time I've... we've all heard about this? Come on, I mean, I just... What's the big deal? They were lost, and I was trying to help them. I was Girl. just trying to be helpful. I mean, no, that's fair, though. If someone stops and asks... Well... I don't know, because I've never lived in a neighborhood. If people ask where someone's, if someone's like, oh, I'm looking for so-and-so's house, you would just tell them, right? You don't think people are going to get murdered. Not by, you, oh, we, never mind, wow. I don't what do a that. Flop. Oogie, thank you for the bits, I appreciate it. In a close-knit community, you would tell them? If they were, like, delivering flowers... They'd be like, I have to deliver these flowers to blah and blah. Oh, that's true. They'd call them. Yeah, exactly, Taylor. Then they die and then you speak. Then you say something. As I say, as I say that, I would not want anyone to ever tell anyone where I live. Yeah, you would remember it. I would think so, Gigi. Not tee hee. <laughs> well, is, wait, is this okay? If they pulled up to me at midnight and they said, hey, we're murderers and I'm going to go murder this person. Can I have directions? Then is it okay to tell them? I think I would, is that okay? If I told them where they lived? Is that Okay. Well, you sure picked a wonderful time to start. Is that okay? God. <laughs> Do you have any idea what this means? You're an accessory to murder, Gabby. And you withheld information from the police. <laughs> Hell, I could be violating parole just for being around you. They could throw me back in jail. Is that what you want? How would I have known what they were up to? I don't see what the problem is. Well, and then is. you get in I the mean, car. They would have found the house sooner or later. You get in their car. You get on the tin. You go to Glendale. <laughs> You take the 405 to LAX, and then you get on the 10, you get on the 15, you go to Palm Springs, you get lost, you end up at the Hollywood sign. <laughs> He's in the phone book, you know. Like, are they the worst criminals you've ever heard of? Having to ask directions to a hit. It's just pathetic. God. 
and you say, all right, here's what you're going to do. You're going to take the 10. <laughs> you're going to stop at the Grove. You're going to stop. I think you should take a deep breath and listen God. to what you're saying. Oh, thanks for the yeah. hydration. All right, just forget it. I don't want to hear any more from you. I've done enough. At least we have a better idea of what went down that night. And lucky you. You managed to get an eyewitness that found a way to help facilitate the murder, but somehow can't remember the name of the killer who tried to hit on her. Wait a minute. Yeah, your guess is as good as mine. Where the fuck's she going? I'll say one thing, though. She sure is taking her time. Okay, I'm back. This Where the is fuck for did you. she go? What the fuck is this supposed it's to be? the guy's phone number from that night. She had his whole fucking phone number. You kept his number? Now I remember. His name was Leonard. But my friends call me Leo. Yeah, didn't do much for me when he said it either. What reason could you possibly have to keep his number? Oh, relax, Carlos. I put it in my pocket and just forgot about it since then. Like you'd expect me to wear the same hoodie twice? Well, it's very convenient, isn't it? Thanks. Bye. What am I going to do until 7? Figuring it all out. Connecting the dots. A phone number, but whose is it? Oh, I forgot I can call numbers. Call the mystery number. I forgot I can call... I, oh, I have a phone. Hello? Hello! <laughs> Who am I speaking to right now? Uh, what? <laughs> Leo, I'm gonna notify the police. I know what you did. <laughs> okay, where do I talk into? Hey, Vinny, how, what am I supposed to do? How does this work? Oh, he doesn't know how to use the phone. Why did we call Carl Lagerfeld? <laughs> Why did we call Carl Lagerfeld? Why did we call <laughs> it's Joe Biden? Why did we Why did we call a genetic mashup of Joe Biden and Carl Lagerfeld? Jesus Christ, are you a moron? You talk into the phone and say something like leave a message after the beep. Vinny? <laughs> or Big Sammy sleeps with the fishes. Your choice. Hey, what are you doing? You're recording right now. You gotta start over. I don't want my voice on your stupid answering machine. Oh, this is his answering machine. <gasps> Police, wait! I have some information. <laughs> Please, wait. All right, well, it was Vinny. Call Vinny. All right, I'll just make the phone call in the street. This is Vincent. Vincent. It's Megan. I need to tell okay, you. Okay, shoot. What can you tell me about Fox. Daniel Fox? I don't know what you're looking for. I was as upset as anyone else when I heard about his untimely passing. It was an absolute tragedy. Poor preening bastard was doing so much for the community. I'm sorry. I'm not the right guy to ask about that. If you're looking for answers or closure, the police are still investigating the crime. I'm sure they're doing everything they can to find out who's behind Fox's death. I think there's more to it. What makes you say that? Here we go. Suspicious man named Leo, who claims to know about Sorry. you. Name doesn't ring a bell. How does this relate to me exactly? I mean, I do business with a lot of people. It's always possible that I met him at some point. You know, it's funny. You wouldn't believe how many people there are running around saying they're friends with Vincent Corsetti. On any given day, a Police! man in my position may meet dozens of people. I Wait. can't be expected to remember everyone I've met. Give me a break. Do you remember helping him record his voice message? I can play it if you like. Oh, right. That, Leo. Time to blackmail him. Yeah, maybe I know who you're talking about. Oh, yeah, Leo. I think he works at the pharmaceutical office. We have a lot of employees, though. I, I don't know them all by name. Not unless he was the kind of employee that found himself at a murder scene on my street. Listen, 
I understand how she's neighborhood it watch you. committee. You miss your friend and your president to find and answers. the only one. But you're barking up the wrong tree here. I'm sure if you just give it some time, you'll find out that there are better days coming your way. One thing I've found in my years of doing business is people usually get what's coming to them. Should I read into that? Listen, I'd love to keep talking to you, but I've got an important business call on the other line. Girl, Daniel made this dress and he made that him. He hemmed. He made it that I've length. Gotta go, but let's talk later. We have a lot. Did he deserve to live? What the hell do you think you're doing? Daniel made the dress I'm wearing and he made it this length. Did he really deserve to live? <laughs> let's cut off the dress at the least attractive point. Look, this is not a game. You're the one who called me and started yelling. You shouldn't be speaking with Vincent. I haven't talked to him since the fashion show. In my job, I sometimes have to observe certain members of the community. Are you watching me now? And I became aware of your recent contact with Vincent. The U.S. government thinks I'm a criminal? For this, I pay taxes? <laughs> Don't worry. It's not you that we're investigating. I really God. shouldn't be telling you this. It's classified. But it's for your own good. Vincent is being monitored by the government. This looks His like a weird Instagram filter. She's, like, very contrasted and right from now. From what I gather, you don't even... Actually, we shouldn't be having this conversation over the phone. You never know who's listening. Fine. Name the time and place. I have to take care of some things. But whenever you're ready to meet in person, my time is valuable. But... Okay, we have just enough time... Oh, pause, pause, pause. We have just enough time to meet him. Okay, come on, come on. Eric. So, you ready to... Because if you don't have the time... Oh, no, 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 I said yes! Talk about now, do we? Shit. So, you ready to... Because if you don't have the time to... Good. He wants to meet at the it mall. It would be in both of our best interests if I came to you. Oh, well, I'm just in the middle of the street. Meet me at the cul-de-sac in 60 minutes. I'll be expecting you. I don't know if I can walk that far in 60 minutes. All right, I'll try. 60 minutes? But Bree's party starts at 7. And it's already 627. Shit. Well, let's see if I can warp closer. And then we'll... Nope. I don't want to go to Edda's house. In 60 minutes? Oh. <laughs> We did it! We actually met him in two minutes. Glad to see you made it. I get stressed out when things are timed. It took me a while to find you. Nice to see you haven't lost your wit, even with the gravity of the current situation. You're here because we need to talk. I can only drive my Chrysler Pacifico one place, and that's the mall. I'm not allowed to drive it anywhere else. <laughs> My husband won't let me. There's a hell of a lot more to Daniel's murder than you think. He said I can drive it to the mall to go to the pharmacy and that's it. Okay? There's a number of things I can tell you about And him. that's it. I told you we've been keeping an eye on him, didn't I? You did, but you never said what? A man leads two lives. In one life, he's a businessman, an occasional philanthropist. This one's supposed to be in his pocket, I think. <laughs> we can't, I can only play inside outside at the That's mall. That's the guy that came backstage at the fashion show and was checking out houses in the neighborhood. The other life is one that not too many people know about. That's the Vincent Corsetti you really don't want to deal with. He's like a snake without the charm. This voice actor is really giving that nothing. That is a high-ranking member of an incredibly powerful mob family in the city. Your little detective work? just revealed the tip of the iceberg. Do you really think he's tied into Daniel's Frank Fox dad? noticed some shady dealings going on at his old office. The perps wanted to cover their tracks and hired some mob enforcers to tie up their loose ends. 
That's why the trail you are following led you to Vincent Corsetti. It was his thugs that killed Daniel. Thing is, once Vinny we got know, wind of the Eric. deal, he decided he wanted a bigger piece of the pie. He snapped his fingers and suddenly everyone with any knowledge of the bookkeeping errors disappeared. Frank was the last link. My suspicion is that they killed Daniel thinking he was Frank. Yeah, that's what Frank told me. Not that I need to even say it, but do yourself a favor and don't get involved with Vincent again. It's not safe. What do you mean again? Are you really that forgiving? Or did you just block that whole ordeal out of your memory? I really thought the locket would stir up something in you. But I guess that he wasn't He sent me the, the locket. Sophia, thank you for the eight months. Great to have you here. Thank you, thank what you. What did he do to you? You lost me, Eric. You gave it back to me. Before you left town to start your life with Vincent. It's all coming back to me now. Because I already forgot from the I first Let's Play. I couldn't offer you the lifestyle you were looking for. And so I let you go. When you called me to ask me for help, I didn't know what to do. But I offered to help you in any way oh, I could. Vincent might have tried to kill me or something. But when you I don't didn't remember. Show up when you were supposed to, I suspected the worst. I thought you'd left us for good. I thought you were dead. For all I knew, you just dropped off the face of the earth. When I was brought in to investigate Vincent's shady she business became a mob wife. I thought I'd find you with him, but I didn't. Then I got word that he'd found someone that he was looking for. He looks Some like kind he's... of unfinished chapter in his life. He looks like he's got his pocket cut out and he's jacking himself off through his pocket. Yes. Look at Mary, him. He just keeps I'm talking about you. Twitching. Mary! It's Megan! Looking into Vincent allowed me to find you again. But you had a new life. Look at him. I didn't want to step in where I wasn't <laughs> wanted. Mary! But now I have to. You're getting too close to Vincent, and trust me, he's not the kind of person you want to get involved with. Spelled M E I G H R. Wait, you can spell Mary the same way we spell Megan. M E I G H R E I G H. Mary. <laughs> no, 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 change the Y too. M E I G H R E I G H. Mary. <laughs> there is one thing I have to ask you, though. Ask away. There's a period of time where I couldn't find any records for you. Like you vanished off the face of the earth. Oh, I got what amnesia. What happened to you, Mary? Mary? Who's Mary? <laughs> You're Mary. Can't you even remember that? I don't believe you. You're making this up. No, I can't. <laughs> Take another look at that locket I gave you. One face should be pretty familiar to you already. I know the girl is me, but who's the guy? She's very slow on the pickup. We took that picture at the Wood River County Fair. That was long before you got involved with Vincent, of course. Mary can't come to the phone right now. <laughs> what? What's that? What's that song? What does she say in that song? The old Mary's dead. It's us. And I know somewhere in the dark recesses of your mind you know it to be true. What I don't know is how you can black out on an entire section of your life. <laughs> Can't go to the phone right now. Eric, you need to start looking somewhere else for this Mary person. Just as stubborn as ever, I see. You'll come to terms with this on your own. Oh my god, what if we had named her Mary? And she was like, who's Mary? <laughs> like she was having a break. Believe what you want to believe. But do me one favor. Stay away from Vinnie Corsetti. Bye, you're in no position to tell me what to do. Oh, he got mad about that. Stay mad, haters. <laughs> Me yelling as he walks away. Stay mad, haters. Oh, I need to call Frank real quick. Oh, shit. I don't have much time to call him. Hello? We're getting done with literally two minutes to spare. Yeah, me too. I've been going over everything I know about Daniel's murder. 
and I need to talk to you. Frank, you're talking to me right now. In person. Meet me downtown. ASAP. Fuck. Stay where you are. I'm on my way now. If you leave right now, we should get there at the same time. Shit. I have to get back to my Pacifica. I can't skip Breeze. Oh, no! I have to go to Breeze. Beat him to it. He has no business being outside. Meet him at the shopping center. Head out there ASAP. The sooner you get there, the less trouble he can get into. But I want to go to Breeze. You get to slap people at Breeze house. Fuck. Girl, hurry. I'm not missing the party. No, where are you going? Hello, neighbor. Shit. Hey, Bree. Just a reminder that we're still expecting you to join us this- okay, Well, it um... is the proper thing to- It's times like these where appetizers will be served. God, shut up. Okay, I have to go to Breeze. I'm not meeting Frank. He's not supposed to leave his safe house anyway. He's- Filling in Frank. Beat him to it. Where's Bree's house? <laughs> Hold on, I can't find Bree's house. I'll be there when I... There it is. Not that's Bree enough. We already... Oh, no, we can't seduce Daniel. He's dead. We can seduce Frank. We already seduced Frank. We've slept with Frank. Not can we seduce Daniel. <laughs> Hello, can I help you? Hey, wait, you're, is that the dress he designed? And by that, I assume you mean the brutal murder of Daniel Fox in our own neighborhood. Yes, that's what I meant. Well, to be honest, his death caused me to examine certain aspects of my own life. So I immediately went out and bought another shotgun. Girl. That said, I think there really is more going on here than meets the eye. I simply don't believe it was a random act of violence. Did you hear something? Oh, no, she now. farted and then went, Did you hear something? <laughs> she wasn't responding to Bree. She went, Did you hear something? <laughs> Are you telling me you're not the least bit curious about how it all transpired? Was he pumped for information? Did he have something they wanted? Blowing ass in the Van de Camp kitchen. Oh. Perhaps he even owed them money that was borrowed to support some <laughs> reprehensible drug habit. Now, don't get me wrong. It's quite unfortunate Daniel had to pass in the manner he did. But at the same time, can you honestly tell me... Y'all really responded to the word pumped. As to ...just what went on in that house? You want to get pumped? I mean, for heaven's sake, why would it make you wonder about what else was going on in the Fox house? Come here, Bree. I know just what you need. What I need? You have to understand. He left a gap in our lives that will take a long time to I heal. I don't suppose I ever looked at it that way. But in all fairness, you have to admit we are in the midst of a very strange situation here. We're here to help each other through it. So there are certain people you have to console by slapping and certain people you have to console by hugging. Hey there. There's two types of people in this world. People you slap and people you hug. Susan, are you all right? You look just awful. I feel just fine. <laughs> I have to say, I'm a bit distraught. What's on your mind? <laughs> just everything, I guess. I mean... Daniel was such a sweet man and charming and witty. He was like one of the girls. Oh my God. This stereotype. <laughs> sort of. We even invited him to poker night. And we don't do that for just anyone, you know. Who would want to do something like that to someone like him? Sometimes it just seems like there isn't any kind of justice in the world. Not your dog. Well, I don't know what he could have possibly done to his assailants. But he didn't deserve to die over it. We can say you're such a whiner, Susan, and slap her. She was, a, she was homophobic. What do you think you're doing? 
helping you cope. What else? Yeah, thanks for your help. I really needed that. Oh, Susan. You're welcome. <laughs> Hi. Oh, Lynette. You still think this dress looks good on you? Considering what happened to Daniel, it's amazing. Well, Bree said we should bring it all out into the open, which is so unlike Bree. She's usually so uptight. To be honest, Tom and I are convinced she doesn't even go to the bathroom. Can you believe something so horrible happened on our street? Okay. Let's talk about how foolish we were to think we were safe living in this bubble. I mean, truth is, there's no such thing as being absolutely safe. It's really scary. I have four beautiful, albeit annoying, kids. I'm sorry to dump it all on you like that, but that's how I feel. Challenge. Try to have a conversation with Lynette without her bringing up her kids. Impossible. Hard mode. All mothers develop their own form of acute paranoia. What if, what if my boys had snuck out of the house that night? I, I don't even want to think about it. I don't know. With all that's happened to Mary Ellis and then Rex, I'm thinking this. What the hell? What, what do you think you're doing? You're being irrational. As, as a friend, I decided to bring you back to reality. Well, guess what? You didn't. Go talk to someone else. I think I've had enough of your help for one night. But I was just I trying knew to help. I shouldn't have come here tonight. Oh, God. Do I have to talk to Danielle? Hey, do you by chance have a gun I could borrow? <laughs> Kids these days. <laughs> Kids these days. Diamond Lake, thank you for the bits, by the way. <laughs> Feral Nebulous, thank you for the 10 months. You get the honk. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Brendan hates oysters. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. I also hate oysters. My mom has her guns locked in a cabinet. Otherwise, I'd use hers to shoot Andrew. Wait, isn't Andrew her gay brother? I'm going to call the police. I'm just kidding. Although I wouldn't mind shooting Andrew for real sometimes. He drives me crazy. Yeah, you're probably right. I'll see you later. Someone... Someone needs to look into her. <laughs> Someone needs to look into so, that. you're here too, huh? One. Not this. I th we're supposed to slap Edie. To be honest, Bree's cooking was the deciding factor for me. But I prefer to look at it like this. He came, he sewed, he croaked. In that order. She has her it's TV turned morbid. up all the way again. I think it's high time the rest of us get back to living it up. There's a whole world of things we could be doing right now instead of sitting around crying into our drinks. What did you have in mind? Personally, I think we should forget the grieving process and try to get to the bottom of Daniel's murder. If you ask me, I think that brother of his is to blame. He's always acting so weird. Mind you, he's not Zach Young weird, but give him some time and they'll be fighting for the Wisteria Lane weirdo crown. That's the most asinine thing I've heard all week. Oh, please. You don't know any more than I do. I'll bet Frank's the kind of sicko that actually enjoys playing little Mr. Innocent while everyone- Hey! She wanted to be slapped, though. Maybe we shouldn't have slapped her. She wanted to be slapped. Uh, Carora! I hope I said that right. Thank you for following. Welcome, welcome. Well, Good I, to have you here. I, I just... Well, you should have said that in the first place. I think I might be supposed to... First of all, turn off this fucking TV. Just a case of Senor Quinty's malt beverage. Absolutely no TV allowed. Wait, what's upstairs? Are there more people upstairs? I'm gonna go through her stuff. Does she, doesn't she have something to steal? 
I don't think I can steal things during the day. No, no one else is up here. Oh, she's got an MP3 player? Been watching the game. Lend idea. I'll go ask the natives if they can point us to the Oh, she's got an MP3 player? All the forbidden ruins of Jesus. Zora kissed the hammer. Thank you for the gift sub. I appreciate that so much. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate that. We're already at 70% this month. Thank you, thank you. The z she's got a Zune? All right, now Gabby. Hey, what's up? What do you mean when you say holding up? It's there an isn't expression. Really bothering me about it. I don't know what else to tell you. But you told the murderers where he lived. You know, I get enough people asking me how I feel these days. Do us both a favor and don't add your name to the list. You and Daniel had a lot of common, didn't you? Daniel was just a neighbor. People come and go. Usually they just move. This time it was just a little more uh, exciting than usual. The two of you had a real connection and well, fashion. Well, I'll say one thing. He was the only person around here with any taste. I'll definitely miss that. Right. Uh, no offense. Of he course. didn't have taste. Of course. Okay, good. It's just that Carlos says that I don't think before I speak. But he can be such an idiot sometimes. But yeah, I'll miss him. And the collection of samples he kept in the basement. I wonder if he left them to me in as well. Without him, I'll never be able to start that clothing line we talked about. I was going to be... I had a friend of mine drop a business oh plan, God. and I certainly can't... Now that he's gone, I have to find something... Ow! What's with you? She said ow before I even slapped her. Daniel was more than just a means of fame and fortune. He was a friend. Listen, Miss Thing. You're in no position to judge. I'm not judging. I'm helping. <laughs> right. Narcissism. Well, thanks. I'm not judging. I'm helping. I gotta... So, I actually gotta go to Frank now. Actually, I was supposed to meet Frank two hours ago. Oopsie, he might be dead. So, he might be dead. My name is Bella Hadid. <laughs> My name is Bella Hadid. Oh, he's cute. Oh, okay. We'll just talk to him. Glad to see you finally made it. It's good to see you made it here, and in one piece, no less. So, now that you're here, we need to talk. Mike was at Susan's. Carlos was in his home. My son in his date saw someone flirting. At first, I thought it was Lynette, but then it was Gabby. That golf saw. When I returned to Verified, she gave me the phone number. When I got the phone number, it was Vincent. Frank, do you really think we should be talking in public? Whatever. We're here now. We'll talk now. So, I just told you everything. The there was a lot going on the night Daniel died. The there really wasn't that much going on. Bandy camps, even your son was out that night. We didn't even eat any of Bree's food. That's upsetting. Strange how that all worked out. One thing out. we know for certain is that two people were up to committing murder. Didn't you just hear me? I told you who did it. They're right there. It's Vincent's henchman. Oh my God, that would be so fierce if we could blame Golf and, and get him out of the house. <laughs> that would be so fierce. Do you know what would be so fierce? Is if we could tell the police that Golf did it so we don't have to deal with our son anymore. Sure, we have she said, it, right, but we're Leo. Not we literally have his number. Honestly, at this point, what do you mean? Why don't we just go to the cops and tell well, them? We can't do that. We don't know what could happen. Come on, Frank. 
You don't realize how deep this goes. Don't clap in front of my face. In front of this fountain? I thought I could get away from them. I thought if I moved and kept to myself, they'd never find me. I mean, I couldn't even find Fairview on a map. How the hell did they find me? It's kind of put this little burb on the map between the fashion show. <laughs> As if that wasn't a cul-de-sac fashion show attended by 10 people. Daniel had no way of predicting the media attention. I know. It's all my fault. I should have told him. It's okay. You thought I you'd make a clean break. I think time we do something. But I don't know where should to Should have changed his name. I don't know yet who we're picking at the end. We've been making bad decisions, so I'll probably make some bad decisions. Queen Corn Dog, thank you for the two months. I appreciate that. Just a little indie fashion show still by Daniel Fox. Me. How did that Leo guy know Vincent Corsetti of all people? It doesn't add up. It literally adds up. He's his henchman. <laughs> when you think about it, Frank, it actually makes perfect sense. You've been holding out on me? No, I told you everything. Oh, Agent Larson told me something, I guess. Vincent doesn't have ties to the mob. He is the mob. Over the years, he's ascended to the head of the family. He's untouchable. Frank and the, at the FIB have been trying to build a case. It was convenient timing when he showed up, wasn't it? It was no coincidence, Frank. All right, then. It's up to me to make the next move. What's the plan? We'll find out soon enough. You really need to tell people your plans. Uh-oh. <laughs> Most people's lives are driven by fear. I guess the kids don't play fear outside anymore. Dangers. Fear of secrets being discovered. Or fear of the unknown. Oh yeah, the safe. But sometimes, what we think may be a demon lurking in the shadows. Oh, I thought be. someone was knocking on his bedroom door. Merely our guardian angel in disguise. Who is who? Who just had that rat tail? That's my husband. Wait. Did they show my husband? My husband has a, a rat tail. Did they there even are people who spend a lifetime earning the respect and admiration of their peers and neighbors. Golf wouldn't work. Golf was working? Oh, at the safe. Yeah, that's my husband, Bronsonson. McMeganson. He has a rat tail. Is it that okay? For naught. I didn't know when I married him. He hid it from me. He tucked it in. <laughs> when one's decency is called into question. Okay, I didn't know he had a rat tail when I married him. He kept it tucked in. Is that okay? Did you honestly believe you would get away with this? Get away with what? Don't play games with me, young man. You know exactly what I mean. Uh, no, I don't. Mom, can you help me out here? Why are you yelling? Oh, wait. What's going on here? You can Perhaps yell at my son. you've seen those care. little flyers about Danielle that have been appearing around the neighborhood. Oh, no. I think your son is to blame. What's the flyers? Yes, I have one right here. See for yourself. So the flyers say Danielle is easy. It's <sighs> Look at all the He's bugs. To get revenge on our family. Poor delusional boy thought he was good enough for my Danielle. I think there's a storyline involving these bugs that are like imported or something. Got the pests. I'm not seeing it, Bree. What's so obvious about it? Yeah, I didn't it? see it at first either. But if you think about it, it makes sense. It's this vicious circle. He circulated those nasty flyers. Danielle blamed Julie for them and started spreading rumors about her at school. As soon as Julie told me, I came over here. We may not agree who the culprit is, but we both agree that this whole issue started because of your son's actions. I'm just here for moral support for my two favorite girls. <laughs> who? Oh, Susan and Julie? Everyone's dancing around the subject. 
But the one thing we know is that your son has ruined our girls' lives. That's fine. Take him to jail. Don't you dare tell me to calm down. I'll calm down if you teach your damn son some manners. Yeah. I don't disagree. Send him to jail. <laughs> he didn't do it, but send him to jail. All right, fine. I'll look into the flyers. That sounds reasonable. Works for me. Three. Yes, I suppose that will suffice. Who the if fuck your is son this? Is innocent. Who the fuck is this? There you are. Allison Tinsley. There you are, Golf. What now? Your son has been sending me some terrible emails. What kind of emails? Let's just say they involve a lot of derogatory terms. Not the kind of words you find on the SATs. There you go. The SATs? What more proof do you need that your son is a little criminal? Golf, is this true? I told you I had nothing to do with it. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. And if I find out, Golf... All right, fine. I'll give you a chance to prove your son's innocence. For the record, I think he's guilty as hell. Come on, Carl. Let's let her deal with her son. Sure thing, Suzy Q. Now, as for you, Allison, I'll get to the bottom of the emails, okay. too. Just keep in mind, they were very nasty little emails. If he did this, something has to be done. I agree. Thanks for getting Send him rid to of jail. Them Go inside. I'm going to deal with you in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to check the mail. I'm going to kill the bugs in my lawn. And then I'm going to deal with you in a minute. Danielle is what? Inbox invasion. A new breed. Some strange new breed of bug is invading your front lawn. I think we have to talk to that, that one person who's obsessed with her lawn about this. I'll save this one as this one ultimate mega save. I'm gonna save it again just to make sure. Because that's it for today. We're almost done. This is chapter 10, episode 10, and there's 12 episodes. Kit Kat2793, thank you for the bits. I appreciate it. Oh, Coffee Cream, thank you so much for the follow. Thank you, thank you. I do appreciate it. There sure is not only 20 minutes left. You're not pulling that, you're not pulling that one with me. There's two episodes left. Do they all die? Ooh, stay tuned to find out. Next episode, we are we are gonna find out. We're done for the day. That's it. The next episode next week, we're going to finish this game. The last conversation is like 45 minutes long. Trust me. I know it's going to be sad, but you know what? Y'all will probably want to play this, replay this again in a year. So we'll probably replay it in a year. <laughs> and, and you know the twist? I'll be megan because I'm, I won't remember any of it. Just like Megan and Brenda Windchimes, I won't remember any of it either. So it'll be like playing it for the first time for the third time. <laughs> we'll be, remind me to be Mary next time. <laughs> oh no. Thank y'all so much for being here. Thank you for the bits, donations, subs, gift subs, wonderful Patreon patrons. Y'all are freaking amazing. Um, no string tomorrow. Might do a TikTok live though. I'm not sure yet. Uh, I have to go get my passport photo taken. Oh, Wien, thank you for the follow. Thanks, Uki, for the reverb fart. May Morgan, thank you for the bits. Y'all. Stay hydrated, wear your seatbelt, look both ways for crossing the street. I'll see y'all on Thursday for sure. We're going to be playing more Tamagotchi mobile games. <laughs> and Alice Madness returns on you're Friday perfect. as well. You're beautiful. You look like Linda Evangelista. You're a model. Thank you so much, Geisha girl. I, I, I had to end it before. I had to leave before the honk. Love y'all so much. Bye.
I'm a straight A student. I'm in the Honor Society, and I'm first chair clarinet in my band. Not this.